Afternoon, Beardlings. Today's class will cover the Strategic Quantum Storing House, hereafter referred to as the Squish. The Squish provides the ability to custom filter your materials list for projects big and small. It can also provide a filter for other aspects of the game, such as ammunition usage. The Squish system discussed in this video is an expansion to the well-known quantum stockpile mechanic present in Dwarf Fortress. If you're already familiar with the minecart-based quantum stockpile, feel free to jump to the next chapter in the video. While it can be obtuse at first, the minecart-based quantum stockpile allows you to precisely organize your stockpiles and compress the needed floor space. All you need is one minecart, one construction material, and a knowledge of what it is that you actually want stockpiled. First, you build a track stop that will be next to where you're putting your quantum stockpile. Make sure to pay attention to what direction the track stop will be dumping the materials in. In this case, I've selected to go to the east. It does not matter what material the track stop is built out of. Next, you wish to put a stockpile designated to whatever it is you are wanting to actually store there. In this case, I'll say bars and blocks. Pay special attention every time you change what materials are allowed in there to reduce the amount of barrels, bins, and or wheelbarrows to zero. Every time you go in and change something, it defaults back to the amount of squares that the stockpile takes up on the ground. This is a known bug. Lastly, for that regard, you create a stockpile wherever else you want, but preferably close by, that is set to contain either the same amount of items or possibly even more items than what you were setting up for your quantum. In this case, we'll be doing the second option. Lastly, you set up a route that simply says, I want a list of items to be put into the minecart. In this case, the items we're wanting are bars, blocks, and finished goods. Make sure to set that to zero. So we will set up the route to do so. This route, we are gonna simply be naming class. We will set the stop to where the stop is, and we will go with, we will assign a minecart. This is the one minecart you needed. And you will click this button right here to determine, I believe it was bars and blocks and finished goods, what it is you want transferred over. And that's really it. You click on the stockpile link to say which one I want to pull from into the minecart and you designate the source stockpile. That's all you really need to do to create a quantum stockpile based upon the minecart system. Since the track stop is already set to auto dump in a direction, all items placed into the minecart will be automatically placed into the appropriate stockpile. Since stockpiles do not attempt to reduce non-binned items, they will happily store unlimited amount of items in one square. Lastly, to make sure that we are on the same page, do not allow bins or barrels into your quantum stockpiles. Otherwise, the dwarves will grab the excess bins or barrels from the destination and place them back into the source stockpile, creating a loop of useless work. With that knowledge under our belt, we can now create our squish system. The premise is simple. Use a rather large stockpile to intake an entire category of items such as rocks, metals, woods, meals, etc. And then create a perimeter of small one by one stockpiles around, or in this case within, this central intake. Step three, convert the stockpiles to individual quantums as needed. This does take a bit of micromanaging, but if you simply create these routes as needed, you shouldn't get too bogged down with it. As an early example, set up general stockpiles for wood, and then when you chop down trees, create a quantum for every wood you chop down, guava, round lime, willow, etc. Once the squish is all set up, you can simply mass designate items to be forbidden at will to remove them from your material list while building. You no longer have to type in either the name or scroll to the bottom for your materials. Here you see that if I'm going to build a floor, I have an absolutely massive material list. Here's that same material list after I've quickly banned most all woods, far less going on. After I've banned all the stones. And after I've banned all the metal bars. All we have left is blocks that I have made. The squish system has a fair number of other uses as well as refining your material list. 
If you sort out your bolts by material types or tiers, you can ban the usage of your steel bolts during training and ban usage of silver bolts during combat situations, though this would not stop the dwarves using any incorrect ammunition, ammunition that they might already have been using during the switch from peaceful activities to war and vice versa. And if nothing else, you can auto filter out bolts of certain materials like silver, which you may want to be melting. If you are being meticulous about which dwarf in your military uses which weapon, Squish provides an easy way to filter out most weapons from the list since the list provides no way to filter by itself. In this case, if I were to try to assign one of my dwarves a specific weapon, we see that the list is absolutely massive and includes basically every weapon. If I were to ban the entire list of weapons, but say I wanted to give him whips, I would merely have whips unbanned, and if we were to do the same list, we will see that it is a much smaller list. The only problem with this is that you do still see weapons that other dwarves have equipped or weapons that you may have as artifacts that are popped up on pedestals. In the interest of full disclosure, I will point out that Squish does still have some flaws, which, depending on your playstyle, might in fact be features. The first flaw is wooden blocks. The game right now doesn't have a way to sort wooden blocks, so it's an all or nothing sort of a situation on that, where if we go here, we see that it's just wood, and we're gonna have the same issue when we try to have a minecart pour that out. There is, however, a simple workaround to fix this. As we saw before under our materials list, we have a lot of wooden blocks types here. What you can simply do is ban all the wooden blocks and then just come back afterwards if, say, you were trying to do macadamia blocks, go in, forbid, unforbid all the macadamia wood blocks, and now that would be the only wood block you see in the list. This is a tad obnoxious, but unless you're doing a rather detailed, you know, 8-bit art sort of a thing using only wood blocks, this is not likely to come up too terribly much. Uh, not necessarily flaw, but an alternative to Squish is that you could perform the micromanaging throughout your gameplay in a similar way to what we just did by merely banning all of the problem materials from the stock list itself. For instance, if we just went to wood or, you know, wooden blocks, we could just go through and ban all the wooden blocks. You can just do that. Don't even need to do this. I don't recommend this for two different reasons. If you ban all the blocks or material of a certain type such as, say, conglomerate, hold on. You've banned everything involving conglomerate. So if you have workshops or anything based off of it, you've now forbidden the workshop from being used. Number two, the other reason I would not recommend using the stock list for your filter needs is if you're gathering more materials. As you can see, to the southwest of my base, do 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 I have wood here showing up, cashew logs. If I were to go in the list and had already just forbidden all cashew logs, these logs would be outside my base forbidden and not being picked up. A benefit to forbidding them geographically like the squish system allows you to do is that you are forbidding only the ones that you've already grabbed in and you don't have loose material hanging around your base. I see this as a benefit, but I could see why others might not agree with me. The third flaw to be aware of is a select few items like wagon wood here don't actually exist anywhere. And they can only be selected if you've selected the general category itself, which means you can't really create a route to dump them effectively since the only way to dump those logs would be to dump the entire category, which would defeat the purpose of the sorting system. Last thing I know is a bit opposite to the wagon wood there. Again, bins, barrels, and large pots must be kept out of the entire process. Whatever will mess up a regular quantum stockpile will in fact completely gum up your squish. If you have any questions about the squish or a topic you'd like me to cover, put it in the comments down below. Life has finally started to settle down again. There is no more work backlog. And I've got the most amazing girlfriend ever to help keep me on track. So third time's a charm on me coming back to the College of Dwarfology.
I would like to have a moment of appreciation to all the subs who have remained with me this entire time. I hope to repay you with more videos to come. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.